the vlog that i posted the other day when i was talking about my hot weather makeup a lot of you requested like products which made me think that i haven't really told you guys things that i'm into or loving favorites videos in i don't know 14 years that's what it feels like so i thought it would be nice to just sit down and tell you some of the things that i'm currently loving I always mean to do it in the vlogs but then i forget because the vlog is just i don't know it's like more real you know it, i don't have like a second to think i usually just pick up the camera and go with the flow but first if you guys have been keeping up with me like recently on social you know that i've partnered with audible for their summer listens i have a whole summer listening list it's at audible.com slash nicole you can check it out there you can also listen for 30 days free i am doing an instagram live in august with the paris apartment this is my current listen i'm actually starting to re-listen to it just so like i feel like i'm fresh and up to date for the instagram live with you guys if you guys have never tried audible for yourself i feel like it's the perfect time during the summer to just really deep dive into an audiobook it's perfect for road trips those beach vacations just anytime you feel like you need to transport yourself i feel like that's what audiobooks are great for they have anything you could really want again if you go to audible.com slash nicole you can listen for 30 days free and i really hope to see some of you in my instagram live that's happening in august all the information will be down in the bottom bar my battery looks like it's gonna die but i have some extra batteries charging in the back so Hopefully they're doing their thing. Okay, so first thing that I want to talk about are these shoes that I wore in with this dress here. I feel like I had so many of you compliment me on this whole look, which I appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. You had me feeling myself extra this day. Um, but the shoes are actually from Amazon and they were so comfortable. They're just these little slingbacks right here and they look so cute with anything. They're a pointy toe, but they're a low heel, so they are comfortable. I did get these in my regular size, which is a size nine. I'm going to try to talk a little fast through this because i've got a lot of products to get through just a little fyi i feel like I, I i felt myself speeding up but super super cute slingbacks really really affordable they look great with dresses they look good with jeans skirts um just a really cute classic staple pump and i also have these in white I've been really loving Dagny Dover. If you remember a video back, I talked about the duffel bag that I got from her, which I really loved. I have this like uh, sling bag, is that what it's called? Bum bag situation that I love for travel or if I'm out with Kai and I just need to be like hands-free. I recently picked up her cosmetics bags. Love the neoprene fabric. They do come in a bunch of colors. They come with these little like inserts. This one came with two. I just don't know what I did with my other insert. I tried to find it, but I couldn't. <laughs> but it does come with two little inserts. And there's a place for your makeup brushes in here. And I feel like it holds a decent amount of product. This isn't even half the makeup that I usually keep in here because most of it's gonna be talked about in this video. I grabbed it in the large size and the small size. The small size doesn't have any makeup in it. All my makeup that I currently use fits in the large one. I just took this one with me to take like my jewelry in because I'm not the best when it comes to like packing jewelry. I usually don't even pack jewelry, uh, but I felt like I had to be fancy. This is still packed from when I went to New York. It was all the jewelry that I had on. Um, but this one has the little bag in it and the little bags Velcro in and out, which I really like. They are neoprene, so when you first get them, they kind of have that strong scent to them. So buyer beware. <laughs> I have some fragrance next that I want to talk to you about because I just feel like I've been wearing these three on repeat and then two new ones, but I just got mini sizes, but I feel like the minis are worth it. Uh, the first one is the Sol de Janeiro. I feel like everybody uses this. I was not a fan the first time I smelled this. It took me a few years for it to grow on me, but now this is one of my most complimented scents when I wear it out. I keep this one by the front door, so when I'm running out and I like forget perfume, this is just sitting there. And then I got this one in like a little sampler set, which I just always have with me. I always have this with me. And when I tell you the amount of people that compliment me, on this scent it's a pistachio and salted caramel and for me when i first tried it i was like ew no i don't like it but somewhere along the lines my scents have changed and i like a more gourmand like scent like this and i just i can't get enough it's so long lasting for being a body spray and i do have the actual perfume formula of this and i think that the body spray smells way better i saw somebody saying that it smelled really cheap which everyone's entitled to their own opinion but don't let somebody else's nose sway you of trying it yourself. Don't even let your own nose sway you because originally I hated it. And now it's not only one of my most worn and favorite scents, it's also one of my most complimented. Just saying. The next two are from Amazon and I wear them together, but they do smell good separately. Kai actually broke this one. I don't know where the bottom piece, oh, it's right here. Yeah, Kai broke this one, so I have to 
kind of hold this piece up and then spray so he's kind of like a little frankenstein perfume this is the orientica royal amber smells so delicious it's so luxe like it's such a heavy feeling bottle and then this one is yara i wear these two together and they smell so good this is also one of my most complimented combos that i've been wearing probably just because i've been wearing it a lot i love the amber one on its own it's very sultry very sexy but then this one is more on the fruity side so when you spray the two together the combination is just chef's kiss and the two mini scents that i was talking about are from kaali <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. I think I was going to say Kara Sky. Um, and they are the two new Santal scents. It's the Wedding Silk Santal and the Wedding Velvet Santal, which I believe the Wedding Velvet Santal might be like more for men or more unisex. And then this one is for women. But you're supposed to spray them together. I love a combination perfume situation now. Like I love layering and mixing. These two together are amazing. I love a Santal. And this is a very gentle santal i want to say but it is very staple santal at the same time how many times am i gonna say santal so really really love these i did want to get the full size but they were sold out so mama got the minis two really quick mentions for the maylee's body serums i did a whole video on these but the revamp and the resolve have been in heavy rotation in my body skincare routine i mentioned in that video that i was getting a lot more sun exposure which i don't even know if you can tell but i'm currently sunburned so i need to check the expiration date on my sunscreen because i don't know how i got sunburned i don't know i'm not even sure if you can tell because all the blush that i have on but the age defying body serum is what i've been dousing my skin in every night like i said i did a whole video on these so i'll link it down below if you guys want to know more but these so good so speaking of being sunburned again i don't know how that happened but I am sunburned right now, but I feel like this product really helped pull a lot of the redness out of my face and off of my body. This is the Biafine. Is that how you say it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Biafine. It is a French brand. I got it off of Amazon and it's for like, um, superficial burns or if you have like any rashes or i saw people talking about if they had uh laser treatments done on their face that this was the cream that they were using so i bought this a while ago and i had never used it and when i came in yesterday and i saw how red my face was i was searching high and low for this so i put this on and i woke up and felt like i didn't look as red as i did last night when i went to sleep and my face doesn't feel as inflamed as it did yesterday i also put it all over my body all over my chest and i feel like it really made a big difference this morning i also used the new tower 28 daily barrier recovery cream which i feel helped my skin a lot as well i love the sos spray that's why i have the two i'm pretty sure that this one is new from tower 28 daily rescue facial spray i use this um every time before i work out and when i get out of the shower after working out since i do have rosacea uh i feel like it really helps to keep the redness out of the skin it also really helps I gotta go get another light also these little lights are a lifesaver that's the only light that i'm using to film this video and really the only light that i have been using to film these videos and i feel like he does a really good job at lighting you did i say everything i need to say about this just a great spray to have if you have rosacea or if you're sweating a lot or if you just want to protect your skin Love this spray. And this is not the sunscreen that I was wearing yesterday. I probably should have, but I was in a rush because we had a little pool party and I just threw on the one that was sitting on my counter, which I need to check the expiration date on. But this is the sunscreen that I usually use. It's by Elastin. Uh, my facialist recommended to me last time I got a facial. I love a tinted sunscreen, but I also love a mineral sunscreen but i also love a mineral sunscreen and this is the best of both worlds sometimes i do my just like hot face makeup and i just use this instead of foundation with some blush a little bit of concealer and i'm out the door this is a 10 out of 10. i'm sure you guys have seen this serum spray and if you're wondering if it's worth it it is 100 percent worth it i saw it all over the place and then when i was in fort lauderdale car had it and i used it and i was like oh yeah Days when I'm feeling like extra lazy or I'm just like burnt out and I don't even have the time to do my skincare routine, I will always spray this on my face just to give me like a little bit of boost of hydration and really wake up the skin. And it's just such an amazing spray. I love it with makeup. I love it without makeup. I do feel like it helps to keep your makeup on and it just gives like beautiful 
radiance to the skin because it's a serum spray so i did just shake it up but usually you can see like the little bit of oil sitting on top there is a few different ones this one is the white truffle spray i do also like the um anti-redness one as well like the i think it might be calming actually that one's also amazing getting a little bit more into makeup these are the water tints that i have been wearing on my cheeks i have them in two shades i think they come in like four or five um i don't know if they have names but these are from etude and i don't see a name on them anywhere but it's the pink one and the red one i love the red one for like a more natural look because when we flush or when we're sunburned we obviously don't flush pink we flush red so this one's really great for that it's the one that i have on today but i just love a good pink cheek and that's where this one comes in sometimes i mix the two um but apply these I just hit my lip <laughs> but apply this with a brush uh that way your fingers aren't all stained so i put that all over my cheeks and on my nose and it just gives this like really pretty natural looking flush and then i go over with my makeup and then on top i do a little bit of cream blush i love this one from makeup forever i'm not sure if they still sell this one but i use it all the time so i thought i would mention it i love this like purpley tone up in the corner here i basically love all these pink shades i'm not really over here yet but i'm sure that i'll get there i'm just more of a purpley pink red cheek kind of girl and these are amazing super super pigmented you just need a little teeny tiny amount um so that's been my cheek combo lately is either is a, a water tint and then like some combination of these four shades right here and then on days when I'm like in front of the camera and I have a light in front of me, I will put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. And the only powder that I'll use now is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is just a little teeny tiny one because I'll never run out of this because you need literally the smallest amount. And I brought the brush out because I feel like the brush that you apply with makes a difference. This is from Royal and Lane Nickel. That's a lot to say. And it is the 270 brush, but it looks like this. And I take just the smallest amount of product, tap it on the brush, and then I kind of wiggle it between my hands. So it's like a very, very diffused version of the powder. And it looks so good, so, so good. So in the video I was talking about how I don't really wear powders or bronzers, if I am wearing a powder, this is the powder that I'm wearing only underneath my eyes. So if you are a powder girly and you just can't let it go, try this, but be very light-handed and very delicate. With your application and kind of keep it down in this area here in the triangle and not so much there under your eye where you might get a little bit of creasing but i honestly don't even notice any creasing with this powder it's so good the foundation that i have on today is this one from grulon and it's in 3.5 warm this foundation was just a blind buy i bought it on sephora.com and then it sat in my makeup bag forever because i was like i can't i don't i don't know what this is i'm not using this and then one day i just like put this foundation on like it's just sitting here going to waste <gasps> It's so, so beautiful. It gives you this beautiful, healthy glow. I have no powder on, just the foundation. I got a little powder under my eyes. You just saw me do that. But no powder like on my forehead, around here, T-zone, none of that. Um, and it just has this like, beautiful, natural, glowy looking skin. It's a delicious foundation. Delicious for the skin. It just makes you look really fresh which I love. It, it gives like medium coverage to the skin, but very buildable. I usually do just like a really thin layer. And then if I wanted to sheer it out even more, I just mix a little bit of my tinted sunscreen into the mix and we're gone. These two drugstore ones, the new L'Oreal True Match. This is the newer updated version. One, it comes with a pump. Thank you so much. We've been asking for this since the dawn of time. And two, these are more formulated to match even more undertones. This is an incredibly, incredibly amazing foundation. If you've been following me for a while, you know, I was a W6 girly, ride or die. And I saw these in the drugstore a couple months ago. I believe I picked these up in like March or something. And they are just so, so good. Obviously, I didn't know what color i was because i was just like in between having like a spray tan being really white now i'm in the sun and now i'm this color so i grabbed one that i knew would be more on the fair side and then one that was like very tan um and then i usually just mix these together to get my perfect color whatever range i'm in um but i got neutral 0.5 and then i got w3 if you've never tried the l'oreal true match foundations you are really missing out it's basically a high-end foundation at a drugstore price point so 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 good this is a bougie concealer and it is expensive but it is amazing it is the givenchy prism libre skin caring 
concealer and I wear mine in W110. I really use the smallest, smallest amount of this concealer and a little bit goes such a long way. It looks so natural underneath your eyes, never crease with it and it is incredibly long wearing. So I really just put like a dot here and a dot here and then blend, blend. And then if I feel like I need a little more coverage, I will do another dot and kind of let it sit and then blend it out. I feel like I really don't hear a lot of people talk about this concealer. This was another just kind of blind me shopping on Sephora when I should be sleeping in the middle of the night by, but it turned out to work for me. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these lip glosses and I feel like the world needs to be obsessed with them too. I feel like you know what I'm gonna say because I really haven't worn any other lip gloss since I got these and these are the CoverGirl Fresh Yummy Glosses. These are the best drugstore gloss of all time. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I think I'm wearing the more purpley tone today, which is, I saw you later. <gasps> it's so good. It's not sticky. It's really yummy. Like the yummiest gloss ever. It, it, is a, like, it is a little bit on the thicker side of the gloss, but not sticky. It coats your lips so well. And these are the three. I know that there's four here, but these are two of the same color. The three that I wear the most often. So this one is I'll See You Later, which is the more purpley tone. And then You're So Jelly, right? You're Just Jelly is probably like my everyday one that I wear. And then this one is when I want a little bit more of like a red tone lift. And this is my, my straw booty. Since I've been wearing these, I've usually only been doing the combo of the lip liner, which is my favorite lip liner of all time. This is ColourPop Beeper. It is the best kind of nudie pinky brown. It's, it's just so good. And I feel like I get a pretty good wear time out of these. I have like 400. Maybe not, maybe like 300, but I have a lot of these. They're so good. Um, but for the longest time, I was just doing a lip liner and then a gloss, and I thought it was perfection. But I've been adding this guy to the mix. This is by MAC, and this is the Glow Play in Rouge. Well, I can read, I swear. In Rogue Awakening. And I know you're thinking like, girl, that's orange. But it's like really sheer, and it is so pretty on your lip with this gloss. That's the combo that I have on today. Beeper plus this and then the purple gloss. Do you see these lips? Do you see these lips? So good. But I do tap this on. Even though it's a sheer formula and it's not going to be that bright of tone when you apply it, I just always do the pounce, pounce, pounce. These are the most underrated brow pencils ever of life. This is the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil from Benefit. I love these brow pencils they are the best i have not used another brow product since i started using these yes i do use all these colors the majority of the time i'm using 3.75 which is perfect if you have dark brows like me i couldn't find it i actually just found it when i was looking through my makeup so i've been doing a combo of 3.5 and 4 and i have black eyebrows like they are black, but using 3.75 on them, um, I kind of am tinting them to be a lighter brown. And then I'll go in with four and just kind of fluff it through the brows just to give them more dimension. But best brow pencil of all time. Do you hear me? And then I don't know if you've noticed, but I've started wearing mascara again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the reason that I stopped is because I was getting lash extensions for a while, and then I feel like after you get lash extensions, uh, your lashes are not their best. So whenever I have lash extensions and I stop getting them, I usually always take a break uh, from mascara because I'm just like, you grow, you do your thing. So then when I put mascara on again, I'm always pleasantly surprised at how long my lashes are. So I've been back into mascara. The Too Faced ones are actually amazing. These are the better than sex one. And they just came out with this foreplay uh, instant lengthening, length, lengthening, lifting and thickening mascara primer. You can wear this by itself and your lashes are like, hello, hi, we're here. Um, but then this is a brush, but then I usually always go in with a mascara. I have on the black mascara today, but I've been really into the brown mascara. Um, I just think it looks a lot more soft. All right, and then I just have some Amazon sunnies that I've been wanting to share. Well, actually, these aren't Amazon. I wore these in the pool yesterday, and I didn't have time to clean them, so... Don't judge my glasses, but these are from Princess Polly and I love these. I wear these all the time. Super dark, square frame. I'm sure you could find these on Amazon if you use the little snapshot picture thing, um, but incredible of these, wear these all the time. I'm sorry that they're dirty. I just, they didn't look that dirty until I just saw them on camera. And then I always wear these and I always get questions about them. 
oh these are dirty too <laughs> these are from amazon this colorway is actually sold out and it's been sold out for a long time now i check all the time for you guys because these are really my go-to glasses and they're like 12 bucks but again sold out they do have them in yellow which i picked up and i love the yellow ones as well adding these to any outfit just really ups it to me i feel like it makes you just look cooler than you actually are and i've just been really into like the colored frame for summer they do have these in other colorways just not this one where's this frame at we need this color and then these are such a good find i don't know if these are still on amazon but they are a celine dupe and they were 15 dollars $15. They they really look like the they really look like the Celine glasses. I actually have a pair of Celines that were more money than I'm going to say. Um, and I bought these on a whim. I saw them and I was like, no, okay, well, they're 15 bucks. Let me try them. They're so good. So so if they're back on Amazon, I will link these for you guys. If not, don't be mad at me. Be mad at everybody else that bought them. <laughs> and then my last pair is from Free People. Um, these are a recent buy. I think they were like 25 bucks. I wore glasses like this all the time when I was in high school. Obviously, they were like a little bit smaller because we weren't like so much into the oversized frame, but these are just so good. You can wear these like out, shopping, brunch, inside. That's why I like them because sometimes I feel like your sunglasses really pull everything together, but you just can't be like walking around inside with sunglasses on. With these, you can. And they came in a bunch of different colors. Again, this is green. I don't know if you can tell it's green, but it is. Can you tell? Can you tell that it's green? They almost just look clear, right? They're uh, like, um, they are a faded green. I don't know if you can tell really, but they cute. They real cute. But yeah, that's the majority of the things that I've been into lately. I feel like I should bring these back because it's kind of nice to just sit here and show you guys instead of me just constantly forgetting to show you in the vlog. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned one thing that I liked in the vlog. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, hello, McFly. Mom brain. All right, that's it for me. I will see you guys really soon, but most likely in a vlog. Let's be for real here.